I try to imagine if China had, instead of the Communist Party, had a different social uh, political system, could they have achieved what has been achieved in China? I very much doubt it. Uh, I was born in China. Uh, my father lived to be 90 years old and died in China about 20 years ago. And my mother, um, well, she is now 105 and uh, has lived through 70, more than 70 years of the, of the new China under the leadership of the Communist Party. We've seen China really develop uh, and become prosperous. My, my mother was born in China at a time of turmoil and the Chinese Communist Party was founded when she was six years old. She met some people who she knew to be communist and uh, admired them. Uh, my father came to China in 38. He had already read about uh, the heroic exploits of the uh, Chinese Communist Party with the Long March and so on. So he, he came admiring the communists <laughs> and when he arrived he met uh, many Chinese communists and uh, they were good friends. Later on they stayed on to teach. So they just settled in China. They saw what the communists were doing, especially the land reform. The Chinese communists developed their own theory, creatively developing Marxism to suit China's actuality. They both feel that uh, the uh, revolution of 49 was a great turning point of China from being a, a downtrodden, oppressed country <laughs> into a powerful, independent, uh, peaceful country. On October the 1st, uh, when the People's Republic of China was founded, my parents were on Tiananmen Square watching the parade. Uh, so I guess having lived through these very exciting events, they stayed on and, uh, well, we're still here. I was born in China in 1951, and I feel privileged too. I'm now approaching 70, and my last 70 years, I've witnessed many very important events. Well, I didn't see the Long March or the founding of the People's Republic, but I have seen China developed from a pretty poor, backward country into one of the most prosperous countries in the world. The infrastructure I have seen, you know, I, I live by the Third Ring Road. When I was a child, this stretch was called Suzhou Jie. It was unpaved, it had one lane. Now it's got a <laughs> multi-lane highway and so on, so travel housing. The material standards are just incredible. When I started primary school, right here in Beijing, in Haidian district, inside the Third Ring Road, you wouldn't believe it. The building was not even a brick building. It was a sort of a bottle and daub <laughs> structure. You have uh, a wooden frame and some reed matting which is nailed onto the frame and then they daub some mud on it and then you can whitewash it and it looks like whitewashed wall but where would you go to find a wattle and daub building now? I believe there are still some very poor countries where they have such structures but even in the remote areas of China for brick buildings and then from single-story to multi-story, China has just developed tremendously.